Hi there, this is Bonwick the Orc, and today again I'm playing Minecraft. And I thought I'd share with you today a couple of tips for mining obsidian safely. I don't know about you, but when I first started playing this game, trying to mine obsidian, I often ended up getting burned to death by falling in the lava or catching fire from it. So I was going to show a couple of tips to be able to mine it safely. What you will need is at least one water bucket. And the first tip I'm going to show you is you pick up the um, lava and let's we'll take the kit over here. Pick up all that. Almost in there. <laughs> Okay, so what I've done is just made four holes, filled it with lava, and then simply put the water on that block there, which means now we can mine those four blocks of obsidian quite safely. But if you want to get rid of the whole lake of lava, then first thing to do is put the water on a block adjacent to it, not right on top, I find it, I find it's best to put it to one side like that. Oh, uh, I've got the water back straight away. There you go. So we've clicked, turns most of the lake into obsidian. Now obviously we don't know how deep that was, that could be one block or two blocks or even three blocks deep. So the best thing to do, I find, is start mining near it, and as we want this coal, I'm going to take this coal. Okay. Now, this block here, there could be lava underneath it, or there might not be. But if we're unsure, the best thing to do is fill the hole that I'm standing in in water, and then mine it. Uh, we can click the water bit. Uh, looks like it's only one deep, but if if it had been too deep, the water would have gone in on top of it immediately and turned the um, block below it into obsidian straight away. Let's try this one, see if this one's only one deep. Yeah, it looks like the whole lake is probably only one deep. probably saw it then, that there was lava there, but immediately it turned to obsidian, and I was able to make sure I was safe, simply because the water immediately turned into it. So, hopefully, these two tips, I hope you found them useful, and you'll be able to mine your own obsidian safely, and if you've enjoyed it or found it helpful, please rate, comment or subscribe. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.